and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Callista Lucian. Looking forward to playing this one. We're trying out uh, new Callista. So we have, of course, the 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 second Callista. You know, like that had the patch that has uh, the updated um, level up. That's really nice. But now we're going back to the first Callista with instead of needing four allies to die, now it's just three allies to die to level up Callista. So a little easier to level up Callista after patch four, uh, nine four that happened today. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the, basically very similar to the Undying uh, combat deck that I've played a couple of times here on stream. And we're gonna make it a little bit more aggressive. We're gonna lower the curve. It usually had, it had no champions in it. So we're gonna add Callista and Lucian as some champions in there. Lucian, of course, wants to see four allies die or senna die to be able to uh flip so um we're gonna add in lucian add in senna with senna we can we can just have senna die uh multiple ways you know we can um glimpse beyond we can kill senna to flip lucian we can use ravenous butcher to sacrifice and of course we can use single combat to kill the senna in the single combat but it could be like a surprise lucian flip if you know like we uh, just have a regular Lucian out, and then suddenly we drop Senna, drop Ravenous Butcher, and then suddenly we have a leveled up Lucian uh, by surprise. But yeah, you know, like our deck's basically built around the Undying and uh, Cursed Keeper, but especially the Undying, killing off the Undying over and over with Chronicler of Ruin, Ethereal Remitter, um, stuff like that. And, and hopefully, you know, like with all of our self-sacrifice uh, stuff, um, we can have Callista and Lucian transform and then um you know Callista brings back the so i i haven't really done this before but what i assume is that like so Callista brings back the largest um the strongest dead allied follower so i think if we have like a you know like a 4-4 undying or whatever or a, uh we'll just say it's a 4-4 undying that we kill and bring it back as a 5-5 and if that 4-4 is the biggest one, then Callista will bring back a 4-4 the Undying. And then, like, maybe. I'm not sure if exactly if this is how it works. And then, and then you know, you sacrifice, you know, it's ephemeral. So then the Undying dies, but then it will come back. So then we'll have a second 5-5. Five five. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it's going to work. We'll, we'll just kind of see, I guess. Um, maybe it brings back the, the Undying as a 2-2. Two -two. I don't know. I don't know how that will really work, but... Um, you know, I wanted to try it out, but I think this, this should be a, a pretty cool way to play Callista. Uh, we do have the one on guard in here, um, which I think should also work well with like Lucian and Senna both being quick attack. So, you know, giving them quick attack with Challenger could work pretty well also. Um, I did really, I really thought about playing, instead of that, I really thought about playing Laurent Duelist with the, now that Laurent Duel, uh, or I guess it's Laurent, now that Laurent Duelist is, uh, Four power. I do like this card. I think this is an underrated card. Um, I, I, but I think that on guard is probably actually better for this deck. So we'll, I'll probably play a different deck with Laurent Duelist later uh, in time. But let's start with Callista Lucian. Let's go on over to ranked. Ooh. And let's get, let's get a board. Let's get the Cursed Ruins. Yeah, the minion here. You're cool. You can. You can chill. All right, here we go. Okay, um, let's get rid of Withering Whale and On Guard, and I'll keep the Chronicler of Ruin. Yeah. And keep the one drop. No, Omen Hawk. No, I don't, I don't trade. When bound with Reckon, she sh she summons herself again and again. Oh, yeah, the... Oh, when bound with... Skip this block. With Reckon. 
Like Rekindler? That is pretty nice. So yeah, like Rekindler can bring bring back another Callista. That's attacking. Wait, does it work like that? Does Oh my gosh, I don't know why I didn't attack with the Curse Keeper. I should have. Does it work like Callista puts in Rekindler, which puts in Callista, which puts in No, because that Callista's not attacking, so it doesn't it doesn't just keep going. It's not infinite. This, 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 like that. I assume they're gonna block something, so something dies, and so then we can get a, a tough Radiant Guardian out here. But yeah, that is pretty sweet. Every single attack step, you get more. That is really sweet. What if Darius unleveled up? Ooh, that could be even better. You have a 5 plus power ally. Which they do. Man. We were going to win this so good with this on guard. How do we want to do this? So I have six mana. I want to just play Senna, play on guard. How do I want to do this? Guess we probably need to kill the Darius. Only the strong. You will be scoured from this land. Seems like kind of a waste though. Burns on. Definitely seems like a waste. Maybe I should have just glimpsed beyond it. Alright, Reckoning. I did not play around Reckoning, and I got wrecked. Should have just gone straight to straight to combat. I got re wrecked by Reckoning. Should have gone straight to combat. Alright, got a... Just, just, just didn't... Yeah, didn't play around that card at all. Meteorite. They're pretty tight. So I don't want, um, like, this is, you know, this is spooky karma. 
I think, or, or not, gosh, sorry. I think that's Karina control, I think, um, maybe without Elise. That's what I'm kind of guessing here, or just like a slower control deck. Um, probably a lot of, you know, like probably like maybe like Withering Whales and, and Brood Awakenings. Um, basically, I, I just didn't really want the 2-1 creature, the one drop 2-1. Obviously, the Cursed Keeper Butcher combo is pretty nice, so we're keeping that, but uh, got rid of the the one mana 2-1. Vile Fee, Static Shock. Oh, here's some more one drops. These two regions are known for killing one toughness things pretty easily. I feel like if I play Senna, then you know, I won't have access to any of these, and I feel like I want to have access to these things. Like that. Like I just want to draw two. If I would have played Senna, they would have just Mystic Shotted the Senna. And now we have two extra mana. We can have these things available still. Um, I guess we play Senna over Callista. Making the day deader. Making the dead feel more alive. That doesn't make more sense. They discard. Lucian! Withering Whale. Okay. Push back the darkness. Gonna go with the champs. Gonna play Lucian and Callista. I don't have single combat available, but... Maybe they'll stop killing stuff. You never know. Because of course we we, because of course we want Lucian and Callista in play before we kill more allies, right? So <clears throat> that's why I went a turn of just playing them both. gonna ruination me so I just untap and go to combat that's a distinct possibility Definitely seems like a three ruination deck, right? So we should probably play it slow. Alright, 
That's why I'm playing it slow, is just basically put two resources out there if they ruination the two. Oh well. <clears throat> this two resources gets me three bodies, including like the one resource is the three three and the four four together. But I won't I'm not gonna play anything else right now. This creates, yeah, more Last Breath followers. I'll just play this Withering Whale. Hope they get something they can't block. Oh, that was a good one to get. Gives them an expensive spell. We know they have one. Um, we know they have one uh, six plus mana spell in hand. Maybe I'm playing this too slow. It's possible. Card doesn't really help. I was hoping for something that I could use to, to single combat and fight that. If we needed to. Stop playing this so slow. We're going to have to try to win this now before a bunch of burn spells kill me. Dang, I played I played too much around ruination.
play too much around Ruination. Like, why did I just single combat this Ledros response last time? One and two. Why do we have to keep drawing those? I should have just done that, but like in response to the Karina Veraza trigger, I should have just single combat of that thing, but could have at least tried for lethal if I would have done that. Well, we're at least trying for lethal. Like, if, if they have absolutely nothing in hand, this is, you know, this is 8 damage. I mean, it's my best play. was my best play. Yeah, I, I played this way too timidly. Um... I know, I'm just kind of wasting time, I'm sorry. I'm just wasting time for a game that's almost certainly over. I've not been playing either of these two games particularly well, have I? I've been playing them both way too scared. I walked right into Reckoning, and by playing around Ruination, I just, uh... Like, there was the turn, like, basically the turn that I'm really upset about, I don't remember exactly what turn it was, but it was basically our attack before, the attack before that last attack that we had. Their turn before that, they, like, tapped out, I don't know if it was, like, four... It wasn't for the was it for the Ledros? Yeah, maybe it was for the Ledros. They spent all that mana, and then I just or like or it was right before that they spent a lot of mana and and did stuff, and then I didn't I didn't just fill the battlefield and then untap and attack and kill them. I just still played around at Ruination when we didn't need to anymore. I could have played everything and killed them. But it's about learning. It's about learning and. Um, you know. Certainly did there. I was I was way overconfident. I mean, too overconfident. All right, so keeping Ruination against the, the Yasuo deck um, could be a good surprise thing. The one problem with keeping it, of course, is deny. Like, they're going to be playing at least two, likely three denies. Um, but besides that, it can be quite a good card. Don't get in my way. And going to lead with Lucian. 
They shouldn't have, like, they don't really have a whole lot of removal, so I don't have to worry about, like, playing Lucian and then Lucian dying. At least it shouldn't have to worry about that too much until a Yasuo comes out here. Uh, but maybe next turn, Senna Butcher. Think you're fast? Cute. Burn away the shadows. Level up Lucian. I think I said Senna Lucian. Senna Butcher. even better I don't have to waste a butcher on that because these butchers can be really valuable of course the first time an ally dies each each turn we rally, so I'll play like this stuff post combat, so we rally. Yeah, the first time an ally dies, rally. So we can, you know, play this one of these this turn to rally. On their turn, we can play another one, rally again. Um. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? Probably need to, you know, single combat fight this Yasuo. I guess I probably should have just done before attacking. But of course, they have to be worried. I got like this three mana here. I'm attacking with a three two into the Yasuo. They have to be worried. Like, they may not block with it. That would be ideal for me. Right now, this is 15. 15's a lot. Okay, they do block with it. I'm gonna get greedy. I probably shouldn't be getting greedy. I'm gonna get greedy and try to undying fight. I I really should not be getting greedy, should I? Yasuo is the only thing that can possibly win this game for my opponent. Yeah, this this is too greedy. I <laughs> don't you hate when you like make decisions and then you know you know it's a bad decision at the time, and then the decision just feels like it gets worse and worse for you. Okay, well, it worked out. We got to bounce. Bounce Lucian, reset Lucian. Worked out quite well. Never mind. Did I have the mana to play Lucian to attack? Did 
Did I have two mana still? I thought I only had one mana left. Yeah, I, th I think it was the two unit with one spell mana before the single combat, I think. That's that's what I was thinking in my head of why I didn't play the Lucian. I thought I had two unit, one spell mana before single combat, but it, I could be, you know, I could be wrong. Doesn't matter. Yep. But yeah, that, of the why didn't I play Lucian, that's why I didn't. Because I didn't think that I could. Oh, love it. Dude, Starlight Seer is good. Yeah, that card's good. Gotta play some more Starlight. Gotta play some Starlight Seer. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow, make a Starlight Seer deck. Garden's cool. So didn't attack with Lucian because I don't want them to brittle steel and then block. We, we're trying to level up this Lucian. Calling strike. That's not cool. To draw the undying the most the world Maybe. Forward. So I assume they're gonna kill something maybe they don't maybe they just pass back because I want to play radiant guardian this turn So to play to play radiant to play radiant guardian we lose two things we lose a 4 3 or a 4 2 and a 4 1 I could instead single combat have the 4 2 kill you know have these trade and then I guess I'm just playing like Lucian Yeah I guess we'll we'll wait on you radiant guardian you'll come back to us I don't have to play the Lucian, I suppose. I can just pass. Guides me. 
No, Lucian was two deaths. My my previous Lucian was two out of four. As far as leveling up goes. Troop of Elnugs. <laughs> That's not a good five drop. Hey Zivar. Only the finest serve. Dang. I really refilled. Pretty quickly. I just hope they don't they didn't draw Ash, you know, like that's they find Ash, they're gonna kill me. If they don't find Ash, they're not gonna kill me. Just hoping they're not drawing Ash. I guess I can do all of this. Yeah, Tiana could be nice here, too. I, th I thought about one Tiana at the top end. Definitely. Dang it. Glory Seeker kill my Lucian. I don't like it. Wow, they they refilled beautifully. Look out there. So little really, they refilled beautifully. Likely over now. I only got three blockers right now. Gives me another blocker. Need to keep that ruination. I need to just keep playing stuff and not ruination yet. I, I ruination too early. A true Felionian welcome.
dumb. Plus, he's gonna have to die anyway. Yeah, Tiana would be a great a great follower to put into play with Callista for sure. What? What? They played that other Oh, okay, Ash wasn't gonna level up, okay. Guardian, I need you to have that life steal. This is our homeland. Stand and defend. This is our homeland. Couldn't do anything to, to have that Radiant Guardian have lifesteal. Obviously, just got way too out of hand with like the assessors, but um, I think having the ruination in hand actually cost me that game. I played towards the ruination, but then my opponent had hearth guard, assessor, assessor. We have millions of cards now. Um, if I if I just don't have the ruination, I. Or if I just don't, don't play towards the... You know, so it was just too tempting for me to do that. If I just don't play towards the Ruination and keep playing to try to uh, have more stuff, maybe I could have that Ruination for later. But anyway, all right, Jinx Draven, let's go. Um, I don't really want any of these. I guess we'll keep a single combat. Definitely want the Withering Whale, but that's I know that's expensive. It takes a while to get online. I think it's only only turn three, I suppose. Come on, play more two ones. No, not one fours, two ones. So I suppose to just play Senna here to block the Boom Crew Rookie and just take that other damage from those things and still have my Withering Whale for the next turn. That could have been the better play. Could have been the better play. I just don't feel like I'm playing this this these five games very well. I feel like this deck's a lot better than what I'm playing. For, for different reasons. So 
So here I'm playing the 4-3 over the 4-2. I want it uh, more likely that they, you know, it's more likely they have something that does 2 damage to kill the quest than something that does 3 damage. Alright, well, I, oh, wait. That thing's a 3-6 now? Oh, maybe we should have sacked it to Glimpse Beyond. <clears throat> How can we get Radiant Guardian in play? Need a one mana creature. Can't just play this and sacrifice it. One man away, this would be perfect time for Radiant Guardian. I really want their 2-1 to trade with my 3-2. This turn. There's no reason not to block the 4-4. Four four. Oh, okay, because they're, they're doing... They're making that block, that's why. <clears throat> I don't really think that was a good block. I think they could just stay at 12, but... We'll see. So there's no way for me to play Radiant Guardian before combat. I think my best option is hit this and hope we hit Radiant Guardian. Darn. Out of all the, the five mana followers in the game, hope, hope that we drew Radiant Guardian. I think that was my best chance of winning. Because we are pretty dead. I should just clear my entire battlefield. Guess I need the 4 3 to block a 1 2, but that wouldn't have mattered. They would have spinning axed it. Better run. Oh, I, I should have glimpsed beyond this thing. What am I doing? Definitely should have glimpsed beyond that thing. Why did they must have a really good card here? They didn't just empty their hands. Must be a good one.
No, needed to draw a Withering Whale for the three life. Like, if they're willing to do that, like, that must be, like, get excited, basically. Or, or yeah, there you go, Decimate. I fight for the fallen. Maybe this works? Oh, no, because that's burst speed, so, yeah, never mind. That's burst speed. They, they get to cast it first. Wait. Wait, we're actually doing it. Wait. Right, they don't create the super mega death rocket right now. Wait, we're ac we're actually kind of doing it. Not dead yet, I suppose. <laughs> the party of... This could be clutch. Could be. We'll see. That gives me the next action, right? It should. And then I can attack, and they don't get to Super Mega Death Rocket till after I gain five life. Oh my gosh, are we gonna pull this off? What a crazy game this was. What a crazy game. We had no business winning that. So they, they like when they were when they were at twenty and they blocked my Senna and blocked the four four, they really did not need to make those blocks. They could have had those two extra creatures. They could have definitely dealt that two points of damage. Also, when they made that full out attack, they should have just discarded the decimate. Right? I guess that's kind of difficult to discard decimate because they don't make they don't make the super mega death rock at that turn. But they they definitely should not have uh, chump blocked those two creatures. So, I don't know, that was, that was some crazy game. So, we went 2-3. Our deck felt... Our, honestly, the deck felt good. I kind of felt like I didn't play it per, particularly well. Like, I feel like I could have played a lot better. But there was a lot of really cool things that our deck was doing. I want to play this game, this deck again. I think we'll play this deck again here later on in the week. Because, um, yeah, there, there really was like a lot of cool things that that we were able to do with all this stuff. Um, like, a maybe, like, one or two cards off somewhere. It may be the Fleet Feather Tracker. It may be, like, this may be the, the card that's wrong, is this Fleet Feather Tracker. That, you know, like, maybe it should be... Um, maybe it should be, like, like just, like, a couple Mage Seeker Conservators where, you know, like, we let it die and then get a six cost spell and that could just help us you know in the late game we could have like some extra six cost spells with the mage seeker conservators but then also the conservator helps turn on lucian and callista and, and it's a good chump blocker for us the tracker you know is the same kind of thing it helps turn on those two and you can you can use it as like some pointed removal but it, it, maybe it's this conservator getting some really nice spells that that's actually what we should be playing like two of these and one tiana or one rekindler i could also definitely see rekindler especially how it wasn't too difficult for us to level up callista and lucian especially lucian how we could level up lucian pretty easily like we we're we we're just killing senna off quite quite easily to level up lucian and so if we were going to have leveled up Lucians, then Rekindler to bring them back would be really nice. 
If we had a leveled up Lucian and a Callista die, I guess we probably get the Callista back because they're both four threes, but Callista costs three and, and Lucian costs two. So if it's like leveled up Lucian, Lucian versus regular Callista, we're probably getting Rekindler back. Or sorry, oh my gosh, we're probably getting Callista, regular Callista back with the Rekindler. Um, but yeah, this is fun. This is fun. I think I think that's what I'm going to try next time. Is I think I'm going to try the the two Mage Seekers, one Tiana, instead of those flea feather trackers the trackers didn't seem to fit um but there we go all right so that's our that's our first try with callista lucian pretty sweet deck um you know like you know this is just an, an evolution of the undying combat but um yeah i liked this is a, an enjoyable deck to play even a tricky one too tricky one too all right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, uh, of course, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck and, and what you think of, like, these changes of maybe playing Tiana and Mage Seeker instead of the Fleet Feather Trackers um, and all that kind of stuff. All right, but that's it here for Callista Lucian. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.